Does the Antichrist even know he's the Antichrist? Because he is on the scene right now. He is alive and well. He is a human. But does he know? I'm going to tell you what I think. Personally, I think that too many people believe that the Antichrist is one person. After really looking into it, I'm thinking it's a whole system with one person at the helm. Because we've got the seven-headed beast with ten horns. And then comes up a little horn and then takes out three of the horns. And that little horn, or at least that the primary Antichrist, the one that the Jews believe is their Messiah, is the one who's going to reconfirm a covenant for the peace deal. You know, the Prince of Peace. I believe that his ancestry comes out of the Holy Roman Empire, so that excludes France, Spain, forget that Italy ain't happening, any of this area right here not happening. So what do we have? Germany, Austria, this region right here. Interesting to note, Funny Mustache Man came from Germany. Now, he's not, he wasn't, obviously, the Antichrist. But could have been a foreshadowing of it, so that's interesting. If you look up the former Roman Empire, you get this entire region that includes at least Spain, France, and all this, and Scotland, and all that. Either way, he's coming out of the Gentile nation, and he's ruling the Gentiles, or the Gentiles. He used to be a charismatic leader. And he would be, I would guess, probably, I mean, most of the world's leaders are older. It's not going to be Putin, right? Because he's Russia. Um, I would say he's probably 50, 60 years old up to under 80. Because this generation shall not pass when Israel becomes a nation before the time of the rapture. Now, the restrainer is the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit has to be gone before the Antichrist can take over. Which means that all the Christians are going to be gone who have the Holy Spirit. So if you guys love Jesus, you know he died on the cross for your sins and you've got the Holy Spirit in you, then that's great. But if you don't, I'd say we're, we're in the last seconds. My guesstimate would probably be this Easter. I'm not predicting. I'm saying that if you look at everything that's going on, I've got my pick for who I think done it. If France is not included, that takes Macron out of it, doesn't it? He was my pick for a while. But this leader is going to be charismatic. So that's interesting. And he's probably going to be somebody who follows the rules because Satan's got to follow the rules. But like bends them and twists them, right? Because even in the demon world, they have rules that they have to follow. And they get around certain things. They're, but they're trickery. Long story short, I think it's very important knowing that we are absolutely in the end days. Look at the, it's currently like the days of Noah, like the floods that are going on everywhere. And, and you can say there's always been floods. Not like this. This is different. It's ramped up. This is like boom, boom, boom. Every day somebody's getting flooded. The red heifers are there. The Temple Mount is getting ready to be built. They've got the replica Ark of the Covenant. Of course it'd be a replica because that's what Satan likes to do. He likes to use things that are like mimicking God. They've already got their Messiah. Everything is in place. So read your freaking bibles go buy one if you don't got one or just do the youtube listen along you're probably going to get tired at first if you've not read it before or listened to it before that's just the demons coming out the holy spirit even though you think you won't understand it you will be led the holy spirit will explain things to you it'll like it'll make sense in here after a while it'll all just sink in and you'll get it so don't worry about any of that like it's big and it's hard to read doesn't matter trust me you need to read it. You need to get the word in you. Get the Holy Spirit in you. It's very, very important. So you have nothing to lose by reading the Bible and everything to gain. And then decide for yourself if it's something that resonates with you. And if it's not, that's going to suck. You do not want to stick around for those seven years. Trust me.